Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Ishneet Kaur and Ishita Rai. I was going through my YouTube and I saw uh, this video where Courtney Kardashian shows her makeup routine and her skincare routine. I thought, why not recreate it? The products which she has used, they are not easily available in India. So I would, uh, so what I would be doing is I would be substituting those products with uh, the products that are easily available in India. Try to recreate that look. So let's see how that goes. She starts off with using a mask, a face mask. And uh, today I will be using this face mask from Glam Glow. You know how some masks really tighten up? I just did this crazy mask with Kim recently that she forced me to do. And my whole face was pulling. My eyeballs were pulled down here where my whole eye was open. And I couldn't take it. The next step I'm going what she to did make my lip scrub. scrub. Lips. So I am mixing equal parts of honey and the coconut oil. Mixing it all together. This is the, the raw sugar. And it tastes yummy. You can eat it. And while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna drink my avocado smoothie. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while and then wash off my face and I'll be back. So as you can see, I have washed off my face. Next, I will be going in with uh, this serum, which is from Kama Ayurveda. It is uh, Kumkumari Miraculous Beauty Fluid. So uh, this one has, so the one which you use has hyaluronic acid. I'm not sure if this one has that, but this serum itself is also really good because it helps preventing pigmentation. It has uh, lycorice extracts, which helps in brightening and um, uh, it helps calm the skin and it, ha it has a lot of anti-aging properties as well. If in case you guys are looking out for a serum, this is a really good and a potent one. You just need a few drops and it goes all the way. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum is one of my most favorite products. I use it day and night. I will put this um, Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. You can use any water spray though like and even you can just use water if you want i'll be using this one from dabar gulabri which is easily available in any store uh, she said you can use water as well too it's just basically to hydrate the skin so this one is uh, this rose water is also really good I have not worn sunscreen every day for my whole life. I used to always be afraid of sunscreen and would think that it would make me break out. I'll be using this sunscreen from Dr. Shade. It has antioxidants and it helps in calming the skin. So weirdly, the SPF is not mentioned. And I put it on my hands, which is a trick that Chloe taught me. And I do this every day, no matter what. Not forgetting the neck. Well, she didn't put it on her neck, but I do that, so. I usually use a sunscreen, uh, uh, a body lotion which has sunscreen in it. So, uh, I don't think, <laughs> I think I can skip this step and use the sunscreen just for my face. And I use a separate body lotion which already has SPF in it. And if you guys are doing that, then it's not necessary to put the sunscreen on the hands, you know, while you're putting it on your face as well. One of the things I learned when I was getting my skin in check was that people would do my makeup and everyone would use different foundations and so I started making everyone use this foundation that I love. It's Oxygenetics and it's healthy for your skin and I mix two colors, honey and almond. For foundation, she has customized her own foundation and which of course she can do it. I'll be using Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation. This is the anti-pollution one. Uh, it is deeply hydrating and it is oil control. Uh, this is really good. It does not let the oil seep out. And since she's not used any primer, so this is uh, perfect. It works without a primer as well. I apply this with my hands. I also do my skin before my eyes because I don't really, when I do my own makeup, I don't really do eyes. So I kind of do things a little backwards than the way that I see other people do. I do a little on my eyelids. I think I told Kendall about this too. 
think she uses it. I have been using this under eye concealer forever. It's Makeup Forever Lift Concealer. I'll be using this NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. It is a waterproof concealer. So I will just, uh, since she has gone in with her fingers, I'll take a little bit on my finger. And I'm scared to check the score because I just really love it. And in living your best life, not every single thing can be perfectly scoring well. So we do our best. And then I use this mini beauty blender just for under eyes. So I just kind of sweep this all over my face and I do not wear blush. So I like to do a little of it with bronzer. I don't know how the next step will work out for me because she has not used a setting powder to set her makeup. She's used a bronzer instead. So I'm not using much. I'm just using a little bit. Next, using the fluffy brush and the same contour. We are keeping it super simple. So I use the same bronzer to contour my nose, my eyelids, and bronze my face. And this is Kim's um, KKW Beauty Contour. And instead of drawing the lines on my face, I like to keep it a little more natural. So I put it on my hand. I take a brush. This is if just, I don't do this every time I do my makeup. This is like a once in a while if you just want a little extra. She's taken a little bit out and warmed it up on her skin. So I'll be doing the same. I'll be warming it up on the back of my hand. I like to place the product first and then blend. This is to cover any little spots that I'm not appreciating. The next what she does is she does spot concealing and she does highlighting. So I don't have anything to, you know, spot conceal. I am in the shade um, medium light neutral. That's me. It's so on the bridge of my nose. On the forehead. So I like to do this method is because I have control over the product rather than just taking it out from the bottle and then creating a mess and you know you can always build up rather than if you have a lot on your face then it is very difficult to get rid of that. She's used a setting powder. In the clip, it's just shown on the forehead, but I will go ahead and set it wherever I get oily. I'll watch my sisters do makeup tutorials and I'm like, we do makeup so differently, all of us. This is my Lancome mascara. It says my name on it. So a trick is to hit the roots first if you find it very difficult to, you know, get into the roots. So you can hold the wand straight, push it on the roots and then with the end of the bristles, Okay, so I like to overline. This is a Kylie lip liner. Dolce K is the color. And I love her lip liners. I think it's my favorite Kylie product. I use Kim and Kylie's lines for different things. I think it's amazing how they both come up with such different products. They're both serving my different makeup needs. I'm using this 
uh, lipstick from Tarte in the shade Generous. So this has a pink undertone and it is nude for me. It's got a very nice fragrance. It's got this minty smell. This is RMS Magic Hour. And I like the line to be a bit darker. Yes, last step she did do her eyebrows but I feel like my eyebrows are already thick and since yesterday I got my eyebrows done they are shaped as well so I don't really do my eyebrows but if y'all want y'all can go ahead and do that this is the final look to be honest I was initially a little scared because she set her face with the brown bronzer and then she went ahead with the cream contour which I was a little skeptical about but I think the final look says it all that you know the techniques actually work and I really liked her technique probably I will be using some of these tricks and trips uh, tricks and trips tips makeup tips and skincare tips in my makeup routine I will be incorporating it because I just like how how fresh this look looks I've never really finished my makeup look without a blush and a highlighter but I am just liking how fresh this looks and it still looks so beautiful and flawless and I am actually not missing my blush I could use this makeup look for when I go out during the day or when I uh, when I do not want too much on my face. So I think this look is really good and I really loved her techniques. If you guys have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe and we will be coming back with more such videos. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye.